are you new at data analytics or we've been here for a while are you looking for how you can get data analytics free let's work i mean the reason for learning data analytics or going into tech is the flexibility of the work so everyone wants to get a work or a job where the time is flexible way you are in control of your time so that's the beauty of freelancing so this video i'm going to teach you i'm going to show you how you can get a freelance work as a data analyst and please this is not a fast trick that you can just apply today and then get a job immediately this is something you need to build on this is something you need to put in the work to get the results you need all right so if you're interested in this video stay to the end of this video don't forget to like and subscribe okay let's begin Actually, the first thing you need to do before you start applying for a job as a freelancer, as a freelance data analyst, is to build a portfolio. You need a portfolio to showcase the sample of your project or to showcase your project. So you need to build a portfolio, right? You can get a portfolio website. I have a video I had on how to build a portfolio website. So that portfolio website should consist of projects that you've done, projects that you've documented, right? To show lawyers that you are capable for the work you are looking for. So you need a good portfolio. You need a good portfolio that has your best project in it. And apart from having a portfolio website, you can also leverage LinkedIn. Posting on LinkedIn. Posting, documenting your projects on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is also a portfolio. Most times when you apply for jobs, you are asked to put in your LinkedIn and address or LinkedIn link or link to your LinkedIn, right? Right? So imagine you don't have any project documented on LinkedIn. You are not in my like you not get that job. So as you have a portfolio website, also always document your project on LinkedIn. So that's the first step. That's the first thing you need to get a portfolio. So if you don't have one, I'll put the link over there so you can watch and see how you can create a portfolio yourself, a portfolio website. But before you can create a portfolio website, you need a project, a, an already done project that you can now document on your portfolio website. Okay, guys. So if your portfolio website or your portfolio is ready, then let's get into how you can get freelance works and so the first platform where you can get a freelance data analyst work is upwork so upwork is basically for freelancers and not just for content writers and um other um jobs like maybe web development or so on is also for data analytics right so the upwork um, account you set up your upwork account and start applying right document your projects put in your portfolio link in your profile your upwork profile and apply for jobs apply for jobs regularly right and when you get a job make sure you deliver where make sure you over deliver so that it can increase your ratings right so upwork is the first platform where you can apply for data analyst job so instead of staying waiting for jobs you can just apply as much as you want in Upwork, right? So the second platform is Fiverr. Fiverr is also a platform where you can apply for data analyst work, right, or job. So create a Fiverr um, profile and start applying. Make sure you optimize your profile and put in your portfolio link in your profile, right? So that they can check the employers or people looking you for you can check your profile link to see the projects that you've done before okay you see where the importance of creating your portfolio comes in so the next platform is top tile t-o-p-t-a-l in top tile you will have to pass series of a uh, screen but when you pass the screening the jobs are high pay is what this is what are the screening tests is what are the time that you need to put into your screening test so you'll be given a test you'll be screened before you'll be allowed right or before you get jobs in top town. So this is very advisable to, you know, to invest in because see high paying jobs in top town. Very high paying jobs in top town. So you can check top town out and try applying for jobs. So the next platform is freelancer.com. Freelancer.com is just like Upwork. So you are given the opportunity to bid 
a, for a project. Whereas on Lizu, if a data analyst, you like apply, give her your proposal and bid for that job, right? Just like Upwork. So you can take that out too. I advise you just speak you know, more than three or four of these platforms and, you know, try your best, apply for jobs, optimize your profile, make sure you show up, you show your expertise or certificates in your profile so that you're able to get job easily. The next platform is People Per Hour. People Per Hour. So People Per Hour is a platform where you can, you have the opportunity to pitch yourself to people looking for data, data analysts. So it's a platform where you pitch yourself, where you pitch your, your role, where you, where you pitch what you can do to employers so that you can be employed. So that's the platform where people are searching for data analysts. And all you have to do is to show them that you have what it takes. And when you, you're able to convince them, they probably will be employed. Then the last platform is LinkedIn Jobs. So on LinkedIn, they make available most good posts to job availability on LinkedIn. So it, all you have to do is just no notification for job availability for data analytics, okay, of data analysis. Data analytics or data analysis. Turn on the notification bell. So you'll be notified whenever there's a job vacancy and you can apply that. So you just have to keep applying. Don't be discouraged when you've applied severally and you're not getting the response. Just keep applying. One or two of them definitely kick. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. So if you try out these platforms, I would like to know your response. I would like to know what you think about them. So if you have any questions, please comment, put it on the comment section. If you have any video you would like me to do, put it on the comment section. I can't wait to hear from you guys. All right, see you later in my next video. Bye.